by acid. Okay, what is this cyclic necessary? Already we have seen in our last, already we have seen class B push pull, right? So, what is what's the necessity of this cycle? Let's really see that. What happens? What is the disadvantage in a class B complementary? Yeah, class B complementary amplifier means that is one of the major disadvantages in class or distortion. Class or distortion, right? When an input is changes from one cycle to other cycle, what happens? It takes some time to change the cycle, right? That's the point of emotion. Yeah? So the same, but the, the thing avoids in this case. How will they avoid these things means we already biased the point biased to this transistor to 0 0.7 volts. Yeah. By the uh, by this diode drop. That goes exactly of a transistor drop. That's context. So that's how the design. Let's we analyze some some more theory points. So then where is the cutoff point for this cycle? So in last video we have seen that it's a cutoff point for yeah, that's a cutoff point for exactly sorry, that's a not cutoff point, that's a Q so Q point for yeah previous class B amplifier is in a cutoff region, right? I mean it's a zero current region, this region. But whereas for this case, that's a slightly above the cutoff region. That means that's in a allowed point seven volts. Either some case like this. Yes, this is my key point. Either that's in a above point seven volts or a below point seven volts. Below seven point seven volts. And this Q point lies above the point seven volts or below the point. That means it avoids exactly whatever the crossover distortion. That means it's already biased to the points and volts. That means it's already in the points over the volts range, whatever the given current range. So if you apply a signal, what happens is secondly, it starts immediately increasing, right? It's already biased, means it starts immediately increasing. And it's the same thing, it's a SPN drug, that means it's a PMP, right? It's a PMP. Yeah, it stores negative negative state without any distortion. That's what that's what they analyze the design. How is design? This is the given value. That's the DC is a 15 ohm volts and RL is a 470 I1. That means this is the bias current is a 5 milli and the C1 C2 is their coupling capacitor. That's a 1 microfarad. Okay, and then. This is the VCE and VCE2. We know that there is a transistor across a collector and emitter voltage always should be off of the VCC, right? That's we are already derived from so many yeah, sessions. That's the VBE1. That means this voltage equals to VCE2 plus VBE1. This is the voltage. Okay, that gives your R1 is equal to R1, that means apply KVL. So that means for this region. For this region, you will get VCC minus VB1 by I1. That's I1 V1. So we will get that say R1 is a 15 kilo, 1.5 kilo ohm. That's the same thing is that VB1 for R2, this R2, that's a VB1, that means this is low voltage, with the VD1 voltage and VD, this is a VD1 voltage and VD2 voltage divided by I1. This current, I1 is, we know that the wave current of this uh, transistor is very less, that's why we neglect that and uh, we assume this whatever I1 V1 that's exactly flowing through this network only. So thereby we will get around 1.5 kilo. This is the yeah, circuit design and this is the fixed load, resistance for a fixed load load for an external. And uh, one more thing, this is avoids two power supply and yeah. Let me explain the advantages of this circuit. Okay, what's the advantage in this? The first advantage is it avoids crossover, right? Yeah. Crossover distortion, right? And the second the advantage is the yeah, there is there in a push pull, we are used to two power supplies, right? It's a positive negative. But here is the case that's not required. It's a single power supply is enough. Yeah, power supply. Power supply, right? And then yeah. The efficiency of this circuit is more compared to the yeah push pull. Okay, how is means it's already in a cutoff region. 
yeah, cut off region, then that gives us the very slight current. Okay, so that slight current may multiply with that DC VCC. So that gives the very less DC power. And if you take the efficiency of that P not AC divided by P I DC, that's around it's in a it's less same as 25 percent above less than that. It's a 75 percent. So for class B, it's a 50 percent. For this, yeah. 75%. This we will see in a practical case in our next session. Really. We will see that class B and class yeah, B, push pull, that's a little bias, everything we will see in a single session. Thank you.